One of the most efficient ways to input notes into Sibelius is to use a separate MIDI keyboard. There are a number of techniques you can use once you have a, a keyboard attached and configured and we're going to have a look at some of those in a separate video but first of all we have to get the keyboard attached and make sure that everything's working the way it should do so we're going to do that just now. I'm using my trusty M Audio Keystation Mini 32 and I've already connected it via a USB cable to my laptop. So here we go. You can see here I've got the quick start menu open. I'm just going to double click on the treble staff because we need to have a score open, but what score it is, is irrelevant. Um, I'm going to close the timeline because we don't need that just now. Right. First thing we have to do is to make sure that the keyboard and the computer are communicating effectively. And we do that by going to the note input tab because we're going to talk about putting notes in. And right over on the left hand side there's input devices. Click on there and it will open up the input devices dialog box. You can see down here you can have the Keystation Mini 32 is attached. Any other um, input devices you have attached to your system would be listed here. I've only got the one so there's only one there. And over here there's a wee test indicator. And when I press a note on the MIDI keyboard you can see that lights up. That's all you have to do, as long as that connects, uh, as long as that lights up, then you know your everything's working properly. If it doesn't connect, or if your your keyboard isn't listed here, you could try pressing the find new input devices, and that would scan the system again to see if it can find it. Generally, it's a best better idea though to attach any peripherals, keyboards or whatever, before you launch Sibelius, because during the boot process. Sibelius will scan the system to see what's attached to it. So once you've got that connected up and working OK, you click OK, it takes you back to here, and then we have to look at the um, flexi time options. The, the, the technique of using the MIDI keyboard in Sibelius is called flexi time. So we want to go to the flexi time group on the note input tab, and we're going to open the options, which is the be more button down here and opens up the flex time options. The keyboard shortcut for this incidentally, because you will use it quite a lot, is Control plus Shift plus O. Control Shift O will open up keyboards, the flex time options. There's two tabs, flex time and notation, and I'm going to take you through the, the important parts of both tabs. Let's look at the flex time tab first of all. First thing here, it says flexibility of tempo, and it's set to low. Now, whenever um, Sibelius, whenever you're using a MIDI keyboard, when you're using FlexiTime in other words, Sibelius has the ability for the MIDI click, the metronome click if you like, to follow you as you speed up or slow down. And this setting here will determine how much it speeds up or slows down. It's entirely up to yourself. Um, the options are none through to high or non rubato through to molto rubato, if you want to think musically. My personal preference is none because I like to have a very steady click and I will follow it. Introduction 1 bar, this is how many quote bars for nothing you get before you start playing. And record up to 100 bars, it will give you this number of bars, empty music. As soon as you hit record, you'll get 100 bars into which to put your music. You can make that any number you like, higher or lower, it's entirely up to yourself. Down here, existing music determines what happens with any music that you're playing over the top of. It will either replace it, which is usual, or it will overdub, which means it will um, appear as well as any existing music. Again, my personal preference is to leave it as replace. The voices. Um, there is a separate video dealing with multiple voices, and this determines which voice you're going to record into. The default setting is to record into multiple voices, and in that case, Sibelius will decide what should be in voice 1, what should be in voice 2, etc. Again, my preference is not to have that, so I will undo that, and I will tell it I want to record into voice 1. And of course, I'm going to want a metronome click when I'm recording. Move to the Notations tab, and this is the important part that a lot of people just don't do, and they get really quite frustrated when they're trying to use FlexiTime, and this is why. The minimum duration is the shortest note that Sibelius will notate when you're using FlexiTime. It, by default it sets itself to a demi semiquaver or a 30 second note if you want to think like that. But what you have to remember is that Sibelius will remember when you press a note 
but also when you let it go. So un unless you're very, very, very accomplished on the keyboard, I would tend to set this to as high a value as you can, depending on the music you're going to play. Um, you can always input, if you have, for example, if I'm, I'm going to set it to a quaver. If I want to have the odd semi-quaver later on, I can always input those manually. So this is going to be the shortest note that Sibelius will notate during flexiting. I can also tell it to automatically notate staccatos when I play shorter than 35% of a crotchet. So if I try to play four crotchets and one of them is really short, it will notate it as a staccato. I don't like that. I'll decide where the staccatos go. Thank you very much. And the same with the tenutos as well. And the only other part here to be aware of is the keyboard staves, the split point. This is where the right hand becomes a left hand. Again, it defaults to automatic, letting Sibelius decide, giving control to the machine. I'm not a fan. So I'm going, to, I'm going to say it's going to be fixed at C4, which is middle C. Anything above that will be in the right hand. Anything below that will be in the left hand. One wee tip. If you are recording a piece with a little crossover um, between the right hand and left hand or that goes below uh, middle C, you can always record it an octave out. And then remember, of course, that the control uh, up arrow and the control down arrow will move up or down an octave as required. So you click OK, and that is Sibelius ready and set up to start using your MIDI keyboard, either using FlexiTime input or using Step Time input.